Hi, I'm Rick. And I'm Sharon. We are Cargo On. Cargo Conversion Building Camp. Wait, don't go anywhere. We just like to have a little fun in the beginning. But if you want to see some really cool cargo camper conversions, hear from the builders, see some tours, and see some places we've camped and some crazy adventures, then you are definitely on the right channel. Hi, everyone. It is July. Hot, too. And we want to talk today about some of the trips that we've been on throughout the year. And we want to talk about if we would go back to these places. More importantly, we're going to give you tips for staying at these campgrounds and some important updates. In 2021, a lot of things have changed. So check it out. With in January, we decided to go camping. My first time winter camping. So we went to a place called Harmony Ridge in New Jersey. What have our winters in New Jersey been like? Well, the last several years, they've been mild, very little snow. Weekend that we chose to go up there, it mm -hmm. snowed and and it definitely was cold. 15 degrees. But we did get to test the insulation in the trailer because I think it was 68 degrees in the trailer. We weren't the only crazy people camping in the winter. The campground opens up in the winter for dry camping. So there was actually a lot of people there. One of the highlights of the trip is we went hiking. We drove over to Pennsylvania and we went hiking. Where was that? We went to Dingman's Falls, but we didn't actually walk back to see Dingman's. There was a smaller waterfall closer off of the trail that uh, we went to. And what you see up here is so cool. What we saw was frozen waterfall. And then we saw these guys they're all geared up and everything with helmets and they're getting ready to climb the, the waterfall so that was like way cool that was january would we go back to harmony ridge campground oh in a heartbeat and i'd like to see it in the summer months up there because the, the location's good it's very close into the delaware water gap so you could go up there and run a campsite for several days and do day trips up there to all the different waterfalls and sites that are available to see in the, the water gap area. It's probably better if it's not 15 degrees though. But yes, I, I agree, I would do it again. <laughs> I don't know about 15 degrees, but I would do it again. So if you're looking for a campground open in the winter in New Jersey, check out Harmony Ridge. They have cabin rentals. Just remember, it's a dry campground. The bathhouse is open, but you'll have to bring your own water and you won't have water hookup. In March, this was kind of a thrown together trip that really wasn't planned out that far in advance, but we wound up going to Florida for I think it was 10 days. We went to the Everglades and Key West and that was like paradise. Okay. I loved it. All Everything about it, I loved. It was the perfect time of year. It wasn't buggy. I mean, it was warm. I kept calling it summer and Rick's like, you know, it's not summer yet. And, but after camping in January, it was just great. I love the people there. We, we did a lot of interviews there for touring people's campers. So would we go back? Oh, definitely. Yeah. And going down to Florida that time of year for people that live up here in this kind of climate, it's like being outside working in the snow all day long and coming in and getting into a hot tub that... <sighs> that feeling of warmth and relaxation. And, and that's what going to Florida in the winter, I think is all about is escaping the horrible weather up here that we're experiencing and going down there and then just feeling like you're almost in the tropics. If you were going to go camping in the Everglades, remember that they do not have any hookups. They do have a bathhouse, but you're not going to have water at your site and they do not have electric. So we took a inverter generator for our electric so we could run our air conditioner if you're going to the keys okay we love this campground at big pine key fishing lodge we had a corner site i would recommend a corner site be when we were right next to the bathhouse which meant we had no one behind us and no one on the one side of us so it, it was a pretty private site, so I would recommend the corner sites and also the ones you pay, I think, $5 more for the waterfront sites. I would highly recommend those. I was a little concerned about our April trip because it was only a few weeks after we got back from Florida, and I didn't know if anything could live up to that Florida trip. So we went to Delaware Seashore State Park in Delaware. So that was like just a sea of RVs, no vegetation, just a parking lot with RV, 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 RV. 
we're not used to that type of camping. You know, we like wooded, wooded lots and, and trees and stuff. So w what were your thoughts on it? Well, just imagine somebody taping off a Walmart parking lot and then putting a motor home or a big camper trailer on each square of the grid. That's about what it feels like to camp there. You just feel like you're camping in a parking lot. Uh, there's no other way to describe it. It's it's not the most pleasant thing, but for people that like to camp, you, you don't really get the sense of camping there. You just get the sense of being there. Well, the attraction that it has is it's right on the ocean. So you can literally walk from your RV to the beach, okay? And then there's a restaurant and a bar right there, which I'm sure is really popular. When we were there, it was closed. Okay, because the season wasn't open. Even the campground store wasn't open. Right. So all that was closed. It was cold. We had a storm coming in, so we had 25 mile an hour winds, which is the most I've been camping in that trailer. I thought the roof was going to blow off the thing. So it was, it was windy. It was cold. We had just gotten back from Florida. Uh, there was really no trees, no vegetation, and it nothing was really open. However, the beach was open. I could see it could be a happening spot. There's nothing wrong with the campground per se. It's just, a, just not what we prefer. We prefer woods and more, you know, vegetation and secluded. That This one, there was none. I mean, there was probably six feet from trailer to trailer. They squeeze everybody in there. Would you go back? I, I think if I had a boat and I was an avid fisherman, I might, because the campground is right in fact, there are two of them on either side of this Indian River Inlet, which with the wind blowing and the ocean conditions at the time, the current in that inlet was just ripping almost constantly. And it was so windy, you couldn't even put up a canopy. I think I would would go back, even though it's not my favorite without trees and stuff, in the summer when everything was open. It would be nice just to go up to the beach and come back, just walk right back. You know, you know, maybe when I was younger, I would go for that. But now, when I go camping, I want the camping experience. And Well, that did not have the camping experience. In, in hindsight, yeah, I just didn't feel that. There's a lot of RV parks that that's what they are, basically a big parking lot. It was our first experience there. So, like I said, not our favorite. And we're kind of iffy if we would go back or not. But some people would love it. Some people, maybe they don't want the trees and everything because it's, you know, buggy and ticks and stuff. But we prefer the, the woods. Here's what I recommend if you're going to Delaware Seashore State Park. First of all, you're going to need some kind of canopy or sunshade and definitely take your sunscreen. Since you're right on Indian River and the ocean, bring your fishing rods. It's great for fishing, but bring lots of lures and hooks because we got stuck on so many rocks, we were constantly breaking our line. May was Spruce Run State Park in New Jersey. I had, I had booked that site. It took me a while to find the site because I was very specific. I wanted a site on the lake or reservoir. They only have maybe 20, 16 sites on the lake or reservoir. So, of course, they go like that. But we were fortunate we were able to find one. I loved it there. Took the canoe with the outriggers and the, uh, the motor. Well, I always enjoy waterfront sites because you can fish right from them. The setting was kind of park-like, not heavily wooded. It was m more like uh, camping in an old orchard or something, you know. There's trees here and there, but it's it's not fully treed. And it's, it's an attractive setting. And most of the spots are at, like in the center. And there's a lot of tent camping there. I don't think I would have liked it if we were in one of those spots. The only p place I want to be there is on the water. And I would definitely go back there again if we could get a lakeside spot. But I'll say one thing, the campsite was big because where we parked the trailer, we were probably, I want to say almost a hundred feet from the water. And that that whole portion of land is, is part of your campsite. If you're going to Spruce Run State Park, remember there's only about eight sites that have electric. They're not on the lake, they're in the inner ring, but you can take an inverter generator. You're right on the lake or the reservoir, so bring your kayaks, things like that. It's, it's a ton of fun, you know, fishing rods, bring all that gear. I think they used to have canoe rentals this year when we were there in 2021. They did not. Their website also says that you can bring dogs, but when we were there, we were told you could not have dogs. And I think that was due to an algae bloom that they had this year. 
They had also closed the beach for the remainder of the year 2021, and I believe that was due to an algae bloom. So just call and double check. All right, so the next one was Acres Acres, which is a standard campground we go to every summer. We always enjoy it there. We did a full campground review on that. Like I said, we've been there several times. Well, you've probably been there two dozen times. I've been there. This is my third time. That's a definite yes, we would go back. Baker's Acres is a great campground, and they have a lot to offer. They have cabin rentals also. We always camp in the same spot up front. However, there are places in the back that are more secluded, and they back right up to the woods. So you may want to ask about those if that type of setting is what you're looking for. I would also recommend taking part in some of their activities. They have bonfires. They get a lot of displays, and it's just very scenic. And even at night, these displays are lit up. So be sure to walk around and check out the sites at the campground. And now we are off to uh, Caledonia State Park in Pennsylvania. And we'll see how we like that. Most of that's going to be touring Gettysburg, though. Right. So we're going there and approaching it with, this is not technically a camping trip in my mind. It's more of a destination trip. Yes. We're merely camping to facilitate our ability to go and tour the battlefield and see the, some of the other sites in the Gettysburg area. Making good use of, of the cramper. And this will be the first trip in quite some time since I got my van back on the road. Yes. Oh, and tell him, we have another little announcement. He has his van back on the road, and he's going to do a small remodel in the van. A small, what do you call it? Conversion. So just small. I mean, I just want a bed and a cassette toilet. But what that, he does with that, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> but uh, I don't know when that'll happen. We're kind of waiting for the lumber prices to come down a little yeah, bit more. Definitely. But yeah, we're going to be doing that too. And then who knows, maybe we'll take a trip out west. So thank you so much, everyone. We'll see you soon. Take care now. That's a wrap, everyone. You know what to do if you like this video. You all come back now, you hear?